Today on Zoom. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 Controlling the glider during takeoff is challenging. You have to concentrate on steering the glider straight while keeping the wings level. Take three. Action. Captain, oh Captain, the ship is sinking. <gasps> well, what happened? We hit an ice cube. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! Hi, we're Children on Play from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. Get ready to Zoom! Yay! So you're out, but since it's just a practice round, you can stay in. All right. Okay. Now I'll show you how to play. Start by putting your hands out like this. Then take your right hand and clap your neighbor's right hand like that. Then continue around a circle while you sing the song. Okay. I woke up Saturday morning. I looked up on the wall. I saw a team of roaches playing basketball. The score was in the lead. I got a can of box spray. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, Rachel, as you hit your hand, okay. so you're out. Okay. Sorry. Good job, Rachel. Try, Rachel. Good job, Good job Rachel. Rachel. If Rachel had moved her hand on three, then Essie would have clapped his own hand, and Essie would have been out. Okay. All right. So, okay. Okay. Fun. So, okay. I woke up Saturday morning. I looked up on the wall. I saw a team of roaches playing basketball. The score was 10 to nothing. The roaches in the lead. I got a can of bug spray. One, two, three. Oh, okay, you guys, just the last person left is the winner. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Who wants to start? Oh, Haley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I woke up Saturday morning. I looked up on the wall. I saw a team of roaches playing basketball. The score was ended up being the roaches in the lead. I got a hit of a spray. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. I woke up Saturday morning. I looked up on the wall. I saw a team of roaches playing basketball. The score was 10 to nothing. The roaches in the lead. I got a get of my spray. One, two, three. Oh! Yay! Thank you. 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 Thank I woke up Saturday morning. I looked up on the wall. I saw a team of roaches playing basketball. The score was 10 to nothing. The roaches in the lead. I got a can of spray. One, two, three. Oh, Alini. 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 Oh,
people left, one of them goes like this, so you go like that. Just like that, okay? Okay. Thank you. I woke up Saturday morning, I looked up on the wall, I saw a team of roaches playing basketball. The score is like nothing, the roaches in the lead, I got a can of punch ray, one, two, three, stop! <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Zoom. Do you know there are different ways to make tacos? I'm Guatemalan, and Guatemalan tacos look like this. We wrap ground beef and diced vegetables together in a corn tortilla, roll it up, then fry until it's crispy. I'm not Mexican, but Mexican tacos look like this and are made by putting ground beef, lettuce, and cheese in a corn or flour tortilla. The Mexican tacos I make at home are like these mini taco salads. Ashley M. of Winsboro, South Carolina, sends us the recipe. So, here's what you'll need to make six delicious mini taco salads. One package of store-bought refrigerated pie crust. And also, you'll need fillings. One third pound of cooked ground beef. Ask an adult to help you cook it. I have some that's already cooked. Shredded lettuce, shredded cheese, and taco sauce. First, you preheat the oven at 350 degrees. If you're not allowed to use an oven, then be sure to ask an adult to help you. Then, you take your pie crust and you lay it out, like this, like a circle. And then, using a glass, you cut out circles. I'll cut out two. There we go. Oh, it's, it's kind of stuck. All right, that's one. That's two. They always get stuck on me. And then you take your pie crust circles and you put them into the muffin tin. Kind of squish it down there so it's in there real tight. Yeah, I think that's enough. All right. Now you bake for about nine minutes. I put my gloves on. Open the oven. All right. Then I take my muffin tin and put it in there. There we go. I have some that's already cooked and cooled. See how they turn light brown? Now it's time to add your fillings. You can use any fillings you like. I'm going to put the lettuce first. All right, take this. And I'll just put, sprinkle some on. Then sort of push it down so there's enough space for the other fillings. All right. Then I'm going to use, let's see, my ground beef. I love ground beef. And it smells so good. Yum, yum, yum. Then I'll use the cheese. Sprinkle some cheese there. I love cheese too. Now, time to add your taco sauce. I love spicy food. I love taco sauce. I'm just going to add a little more. There, so it can be a lot. A little more spicy. All right. To find other recipes for party foods, like mini pizzas or burrito bites, check out the Zoom website at pbskids.org. Bon appetit! Mmm. Tastes really good. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? If you could pick one thing to bring to the moon, what would it be? I would bring food so I wouldn't Start. I will bring a computer so I can type c because I like typing. If I was going to the moon for one day, I would bring a phone so I could tell my friends that I was on the moon. I would send a spacesuit so they won't be freezing. I would bring my dad because I love him. If I can send something to the moon, I would send a space blanket so people can lay down on the moon. If I could bring anything to the moon, I would bring gravity boots because if not, I will be floating all over the place. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Do you remember when we did an egg drop? Do you remember when we made Zoom vehicles? Go! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> yeah! 
Well, today, we're going to combine the two by making Zoom Egg Vehicles. Our challenge is to first build a vehicle that will stop an egg from breaking when it slides down the string and smashes into the wall. We can use 10 small rubber bands and as much spaghetti as we like. As a part of the challenge, we have to make sure that some of the egg is always showing. To test out our vehicles, we're going to attach them to this straw and string. After we've successfully designed our egg vehicles, we're going to see if they can still prevent the eggs from breaking when we drop them from this ladder. All right, come on, guys. All right, let's do okay. it. Okay. So, Arlene, I think that the spaghetti yep. is here to absorb a lot of shock. Yeah. Like, I think when the egg falls, we, we obviously don't want the egg to break. <laughs> so yeah. I think if the, um, the spaghetti is first, if that right. hits the wall first, it will, it will Absorb get, it yeah, it right. will okay. take um, a lot of the pressure off of the egg. I think we should attach it like that onto the egg, right? Right. And so we put, okay, we'd have to attach them like this onto the egg. Right. Right? Right. And then we can spread it out. Yep. Okay, so do you want to add we do more? this all around the egg. Okay. So you want to put the, um, the rubber band on first and then slip the spaghetti okay. through? Okay. And just stick them on like this. Yep. So what? What? The more the spaghetti, it, it probably like absorb more absor shock. Yeah, e exactly. So why do you think this is gonna work? Cause, cause um, there's spaghetti there's surrounding, spaghetti the, surrounding egg. the egg. If we do that all the way around, we'll have. But we'd have to put on more um, rubber think, bands because it might not stay. Yeah, it's not tight enough. Well, do you think if we took it bit. like that and we took it with an elastic gun, do you think that would so we'll do gather it? I, know, I think I don't actually know that that's a good idea. Here, I think we should break the spaghetti in half. It's too long. Alrighty. So let's start. Let's start over. I'll okay. put the elastics on. Good idea. It's all. But how are we gonna, gonna get the spaghetti it. in there? We're just. We're gonna slip let's it just into slip the, it through yeah, one by one. The, so we'll go like this. Well, it's gonna take a while, but we'll try. All right. Oh, it already is already looking pretty cool. It's gonna hit like that. It's gonna push all of it yeah, away. Yeah, but what if, what if it hits on this side a little bit? We need we need it protecting everything. Oh, maybe maybe if we made little packs like this and we that? like doubled them up, we could put those all around the egg. That is a good idea. Because before it was just like all right, frayed. and it wouldn't. Okay, so let's try that. We'll make okay. little like packages. All right, all right. Oh, I just look, look, look. Oh my if God, it falls, so like, cool. if it goes like this and bounces, oh. <gasps> We're, we're trying to put these around the egg, that way when it hits the wall, the spaghetti will absorb the shock, is that right? Yeah, that's kind of like armor. I think the reason we made a little packets is because right. before it was all spread it was all out, and spread it, out. we couldn't, we couldn't okay. figure out a way to um, keep them all together, so this is a good plan. We okay. did it. Got it. Wow. That looks really powerful. Look at all the... Right. And I think this is really going to absorb the shock right. of the egg. There. Okay, there we go. That's only one... That's good. That's, That's excellent. really good. Look. <laughs> Boom. Bang. Looks like a hang glider. Okay, Kaylee, ready right? test? Good luck. Good okay. Luck. <laughs> good luck, Kaylee. Let's go. Okay, ready? Do it. Ready. Okay. In five. Four. Three. Two. <laughs> Do you guys want to try yours? Yeah, okay. sure. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, no, it's for Did it work? <gasps> you made it work! It worked! Oh, my yeah. gosh! Both of them worked! Yeah. 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 Nice! Good job! Nice. Hey, good nice job! Nice, nice. nice structure Woo. building. We were both successful in building our Zoom vehicles. Watch later to see if they stand the egg drop test. My name is Janine Pulley. I live in Hudson, New Hampshire, and I love to fly. Not this kind of plane. I fly this kind of plane. A glider plane. A glider doesn't have a motor. It's really quite safe. To keep it safe, you're required to inspect the entire plane before takeoff for defects or loose parts. You also have to check all of the controls.
Today, this tow plane will take my instructor, Tom Matthews, and me up to an altitude of 3,000 feet. All right, stick forward. Yep. Don't get any potholes. <laughs> it takes the average person about 40 to 50 flights with a trained instructor before they can try for a solo license. Controlling the glider during takeoff is challenging. You have to concentrate on steering the glider straight while keeping the wings level. Feet, you need to release the glider from the tow cable. I feel peaceful and relaxed, as if I'm floating like a cloud. My hands are on top of your shoulders. When Tom puts his hands on my shoulders, he's showing me that I'm the one in control of the glider and he's not touching any of the controls. You have to keep an airspeed of 60 miles per hour while staying parallel to the runway. Next, you want to apply the dive brake, which makes the glider come down in altitude. You have to descend to an altitude of 500 feet while turning into the runway. How are we doing, Janine? Good, we're at 500. Focus and confidence in yourself can help you achieve almost anything. Allison Kay of Shoreline, Washington, sent us these fanny doolies. Fanny Dooley likes fiddles, but doesn't like violins. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes ladders but doesn't like heights. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes rooms, but doesn't like cleaning. Why do you think that is? We want your Fanny Dooleys, so send them to Zoo. Fanny Dooley! <laughs> Zoom into action! I volunteered by raising money for the diabetes block in my town. I did this by creating a team I call the Dream Team and designing buttons. Next, I went to our friends, neighbors, and some local businesses and asked if they would help. I was able to collect $700 to help find a cure for juvenile diabetes. You can be a member of the Zoom team, too. Just visit the website at wgby.org slash zoom and tell us what you do to volunteer. You can also find out what other kids are doing to make a difference and learn how you can volunteer in Western New England. Remember, the small things you do can add up to make a big difference. Zoom into action and join the Zoom team. Earlier, we built egg vehicles to prevent our eggs from breaking. As the vehicles hit the wall, the egg stopped gradually. This means that the force on the egg wasn't that big when it hit the wall, so the egg didn't break. 
But if there weren't any vehicles, then there would be a big force on the eggs, and they would have smushed against the wall like this. Ew. Ew. <laughs> We've recreated our egg vehicles to see if they can survive when we drop them from this ladder. I think since the egg, before we launched it on the string, yeah. had like a path mm -hmm. cut out for yeah. it already, and so it stayed where we wanted it to. I mean, like, yeah. we only put spaghetti on one side of the egg because we wanted it to hit the wall that way. Mm -hmm. But I think if you drop it from the ladder, it can twist it can and twist turn, and, and there's no real path for it to go yeah. on, so it might crack where we really don't want it to. I know, and it could crack right here. Also, I think right. that when we're dropping it, it's a lot more force than it was on the yeah. string. So. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. right. when so it was going down the string, it was going yeah. down gradually. Do you want to yeah. try it? Okay. 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 One... <laughs> Two, three. It's, oh my gosh, it survived! It, it worked! Oh, okay! <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it survived! I really thought it was going to break because yeah, it was so much more. But I think your structure, the top of the spaghetti, kind of protected it, and I think it shot the egg know, out like I it would yeah, look. And so it popped out. Wow. I know, that's the, so the, cool. The structure, look, totally, the structure totally, like... So maybe it's it your structure like, that kept it. I think that wow. it was in the... It was in here like mm -hmm. this. Until it so hit, it popped and then it out. popped out. So let's see, I don't think okay. Ali and I are going to have... As much, luck as, as much luck as you guys did, so I think... <laughs> right. That's I, so cool. I think most eggs, if you drop them up there, they're going to break. I think it's just like yeah. the unique design of yours. Right. Ready? One, two, three. And ours, ours was just on one I side. I think that if you had it all around, it, it, it wouldn't have broke as hard or maybe not even broke at all. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh. Kaylee's and Alini's egg vehicle do not survive the egg drop test. That's because when they dropped the egg, it hit the floor with a lot more force and was traveling a lot faster than when we put them on the string track and they hit the wall. Also, on the string track, we were able to control exactly which part of the vehicle hit the wall. I think if we made our vehicle more cone-shaped, like Matt and Garrett did, then our egg would have survived the drop, because it would have been able to slide up and down in the vehicle. If you have any ideas on how to make a successful egg drop vehicle, then send them to Zoom. Hello, Zoomers, and welcome to Zoom Playhouse. Today we present Captain O'Captain, written by Waverly H. of Memphis, Tennessee. Where is that actor? She is so late! Here I am! Here I am! Sorry I'm late. What do I have to say? Finally! Now what you do is you run in and say, Captain, oh Captain, the ship is sinking. And then the captain will say, well, what happened? And you'll say, we hit an iceberg. And then the captain will say, how fast are we going? And you'll say, 45 knots. And then the captain will say, what direction are we going in? And you'll say, northeast. And once we get that, we'll go on. Okay? Okay. All right, Thank make up. Take one. Ready? Action. Captain, oh, Captain, the ship is sinking. Sinking? No, 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 no. Cut. The ship is sinking. Not stinking, sinking. Okay, got it. Take two. Ready? Let's do it again. Take three. Ready? Action. Captain, oh Captain, the ship is sinking. Well, what happened? We hit an iceberg. How fast are we going? Um, <laughs> I forgot. Urgh, cut. Forty-five knots. 
45 knots. Okay. Got now it. go back and do it again. Make up! Take four. Ready? Action. Captain, oh Captain, the ship is sinking. <gasps> well, what happened? We hit an iceberg. How fast are we going? 45 knots. What direction are we headed in? Um. Um. I think. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going down. <laughs> Overtures with Tunes and Spoons, a virtual glass xylophone that you can find at the Zoom website, America Online, keyword PBS Kids, or at pbskids.org. the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other media. So, send it to Zoom. Captain, oh Captain, Zoom needs lids. No, 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 no. Zoom needs vids. Vids. <laughs> right, right. Action. Captain, oh Captain, Zoom needs squids. No, 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 no. Oh, forget it. Zoom needs your vids. If you have any vids, send them to Zoom. Box 350, Boston, Mass. 02134. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. And by... Contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks!